Wait. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little frustrating. Yeah, you only get one golem per. Yeah. Per purchase. Yep. I just got Malachi's artifice. That's the Ziggy D ring. Nice. I'm still using that ring you gave me, by the way. <laughs> nice. I just slapped some decks on it. What? Uh, oh. I didn't know it was possible. Okay. Um, hmm. The jeweler's touch is probably more than one chaos. <laughs> oh. I st I'm still annoyed that I wasn't able to get that one from the uh, ritual. Yeah. Hall. yeah. Five chaos. It's actually pretty reasonable. Five five chaos for jeweler's touch. Pretty good. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, that's a lot of de <laughs> stats.
Oh, right. What is your DPS like, by the way? Um, I'm just gonna path a building, just to. So, with I guess I'm not boss because I'm gonna get eight stacks. It says two hundred sixty thousand with like out uh, applying knighted. Yeah, okay, it says two hundred eighty. So let me just finish. Are you channeling? Okay. So on a boss, and let's assume I've channeled up to eight stages. Uh, I have two hundred sixty-seven thousand shaper DPS. Damn. With my current items, and that's not with include when I get my. Uh, let's see if I can put my uh, searing touch on. What will I go up to? Hmm, interesting. It says that my current wands give me more DPS than a searing touch would. Wonder why that is. Maybe it's maybe at the uh, current level, the um, extra two levels don't actually mean as much as if you were at level twenty. Popsicle, yeah. Let me uh, change that. So, scorching ray at level twenty. Well, the thing is, is uh, it's going to get the same amount of levels. Holy crap! My game just like. Okay. Locked up for a it's long probably because time one of them is plus one level all skill spell skill gem, so I'm also getting an increase on my some of my golems, likely, I think. But my flame golem is a fire type, so malevolence, I think, is what gets leveled up a little bit. Hmm. And it's making the difference. Maybe. Maybe? Hmm. Maybe because Orb of Storms levels up, it gets a... No, it doesn't matter. Maybe it's because I'm dual wielding. I get to dual wield more damage. Mm -hmm. That's likely it. I'll still have, like, I'll get block chance, though. Uh, is... Huh. No, it looks like with dual, then you still get block chance. 
Wait, I thought they removed that. Yeah. Or was it the bonus attack speed or something that they removed? I remember they removed something to do with dual wielding. I just don't remember what it was. Uh, yeah, I'm looking it up right now. Dual wield. In 3.11, no longer grants 20% more physical attack damage. It still right, grants 10% right. more attack speed and 15% chance to block attack hits. So, yeah, it doesn't give more damage. Hmm. And it was more physical attack damage on that. Yes, I don't get it. Whatever, I'm just going to end up using the Searing Touch. I can get uh, a 5 link that way, in addition to my uh, 6 link. So, it'll end up in better damage. I just can't get that strength just yet with my current gear. My gloves, for instance, don't have a suffix. They don't have any affix. Come think of it. So we'll do so when I level up. I'll just put a point into a strength node, and then spec out later when I get another. I think when I get blood siphon, is when I get later, just so I can get that strength. Easily. Hmm. Monsters can't be stunned. I don't care. Same. Oh, look, a chaos orb. I don't know why, but um, lately I've been using the Brittle Knees uh, voice line for. For sense for the uh, filter. I'm just used and to I, using. For whatever reason, her her voice is just so sarcastic or like so just to the point. <laughs> it just feels really amusing to listen to her be like currency. <laughs> there was yeah, one so that I... just completely sold me when it was like something good. You just hear her say, holy fucking shit. <laughs> oh god, I'm lagging. Oh, okay, lag spike finished. Definitely someone's just watching videos. And those spikes I'm experiencing are it buffering the video. Since YouTube takes priority on lots of ISPs. Hmm. God. I don't like this. I'm fighting the freaking vault boss that puts all the lightning stuff all over the ground. And it's kind of terrifying. Ooh. Oh, you're in a uh, vault side area. Do you yeah. need assistance? No, I killed him. Okay. It was just scary. It wasn't actually doing anything. It was literally not even doing anything. I don't know why. It, just, it wasn't going off. He was, was just putting the 
things on the ground just scaring me. Probably, uh, like, they had a duration. And I was just waiting for that duration to... Because it was likely Stormcall, right? So... Yeah. Yeah, so Stormcall has a duration, and then when that is up, it detonates all of them in sequence. Mm-hmm. But it was making like it made like forty of them. <laughs> I was just yeah, filling yeah. my entire screen with them, kind of terrifying. Hunter's lesson: you will slay a powerful foe and gain its powers. Why does that feel like it's a good one? It's it kind of feels like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It feels like a mini headhunter, but like only once, right? So. Uh, I could get a black heart. Or I could get some scorched fossils. Oh my god, the lag. Man, I gotta figure out what the heck is causing this, like, freeze lag. What I might do is, when I go to sleep today, I might deinstall Path. Just in case. Yeah, and see if tomorrow is, like, better or not. I mean, it should, like, only take 10 minutes to download for you. Yeah, but I'd rather not do it, like, now. No, no, what, what I would say is, like, you could also just do it the first thing in the morning. Like, when you wake up, kind of thing. I could, yeah. Like, while you're still kind of groggy, you just install it and then uh, go, while it's installing, grab some food. Or whatever you do when you first wake up. Have a nice little um, tug. What? What? I think you might have lagged out, or I might have lagged out there, because I literally didn't hear what you said. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you were just ignoring me, because I said something all uh, inappropriate. <laughs> I mean, I, I assumed, I assumed you said something inappropriate. I didn't actually hear it. Hmm. Oh God. Man, there's a tree literally right next to the totem thing, and it's really annoying because it keeps blocking my view of like what I'm shooting at. Ooh, where's Mirage? Mm -hmm. For that, I kind of want those so far. Hmm? So I found a couple of those so far. Yeah, I'm just deferring it because I kind of want. It's not really that. It's not like I'm going to, like, prioritize it. Mm -hmm. 
What the heck? Okay, I there's I just found four beasts next to each other. Hmm. Bestiality party. It was a juicy one, Exile. <laughs> this one is captured. This one is captured. We will be best friend. This one will be captured. That's what I just heard. Hmm. It's like, oh, the weary traveler. <laughs> Oh, 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 the weird, the weird, the weird child. <laughs> they made that, they made that even better. It's just like... It's How it just keeps funny. going? Yeah. Yeah, before it was just restarts, right? Instead of, now it's like actually just says the full line. <laughs> I like how they didn't fix it either. They just doubled down. <laughs> doubled no. down on it. So it almost seems like the devs were like bored, and they were like, "What can we do with this thing? <laughs> let's let's well, mess with like, it a little." It's more like they probably just had like the bug thing. Like, well, we could fix this, or we could just go full meme and just make it even better. Or you know what? Maybe maybe they were attempting to fix it, and then that happened, and they just kept it in. <laughs> it's possible, yeah. It's like. This is this is better. Oh crap, I just messed up my page. Oh wait, I still have to fight uh What's his face? Um, Tokuhama. Tokuhama. What Tokuhama? The Tuko Hammer? Yes. For all the Tuko Hammer. Okay. We're in for a pounding. <laughs> You killed the curry war god? Can you even kill a god? Evidently, yes. Arcade map. Evidently, arcade nice. is one of the tier one maps. I do like the how they first, uh, like switch around uh, what tier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really is. like that too. Actually, it it makes it so that it's like you're not just doing the same maps like over and over for like yeah yeah progression. and like um, that would get very dull. Well, because like also certain maps like I mean eventually you do get to the point where like you you have a specific map that you're running because you can tier sixteen anything right. Yeah. But before that, it's still like you get a varying level. It, it of changes it up. It, it changes up the the progression. Yeah. You also get a varying level of difficulty per per map each league. To start okay, well, I just course. got more uh, jewels from that delirium than I ever have from uh, <laughs> abysses. Oh, well, that's a little uh, unfortunate. Wait, another Einar zone? Huh. Oh my gosh, this thing is so tanky!
This is a fine redemption. Ooh, another poison chance. Sorry, you going to take a, uh, your cruel lab, by the way. Are you going to take a Mirage Archer or... Yes, I'm definitely going to go for a Mirage Archer. I, wa I really want to see what it's like. I was actually... I was actually even tempted to grab it first, but Tailwind is just too good. Oh, yeah. And it probably wouldn't feel as good, like, before getting Tailwind. Yeah. Wow. Any pack that has, like, any mob that has a delayed summon gets just completely deleted by this build. Because, like, mm. they end up getting, like, they end up popping up to, like, all of my flowers exploding. Oh, crap, I got frozen. Oh, my inventory keeps filling up so fast. I'm gonna dump everything. I might have to increase my, uh, loot filter. I always keep mine semi stripped until I get some uh, yellow maps. Um, I usually I, I never... usually increase my strictness a little bit before that, but I usually customize it so that like it, if I increase it, I mean. I have never found the need to have less than semi stripped. So like semi stripped is like the lowest I'll ever go. Oh yeah, yeah no, it's. Semi strict is what I go for as well, because there's no point in going normal. It's just too much. Medium junk. cluster jewel. I have small passives grant channeling skills deal twelve percent increased damage. Well, I have a channeling skill, so what kind of uh things can I get from that? Bookmarks. Cluster Jews. Medium cluster jewel. I, I have a bookmark folder called Cluster Jews. <laughs> Alright, I can get Vital Focus, which is regenerate 1.5% life per second while channeling. Channeling skills deal 30% increased damage. Not bad. Rapid Infusion. 5% increased movement speed while you have Infusion. 50% increased effect of, your, of Infusion. Okay, so you're supposed to use that with Infused channeling. Okay. Unwavering focus. Channeling skills deals 25% increased damage. 15% new beast. Bonus of channeling skills. 40% to chance to avoid being stunned while channeling. Not bad. Enduring focus. Channeling skills deals 25 damage. Dream charge each second while channeling. Okay. Size focus. E. I like this one. To a degree. I wish it was a more than just plus three. Okay, so it looks like... Ooh, a change flask! Vital focus. And... Unwavering focus are the two best ones I can see here. And fortunately for me, the vital focus is one of the highest weighted ones, and Unwavering Focus is the next highest. Why is Enduring Focus uh, the Endurance Charge sexual channeling? I guess. It's nice to get Endurance Charges, so that is a good thing. So I think uh, Endurance Charges is one of the only few things that are almost always useful. It gives, like, physical damage reduction. Like, power charges are, like, well, only useful if you're going crit, and frenzy charges are only useful if you're going attack, right? Like, attack speed? Yeah. Whereas power charges are, like, it gives, uh... Actually, it gives resistances, too, doesn't it? Yes. I don't want stoic focus. 428. See how much chance of poison I have. Uh, 55! Ooh! Pretty good now. 
I don't want precise focus either. Oh my god, game froze again. I'll take that one. Unwavering focus, plus three to dexterity. I don't have a regal though, so I can't regal it. But I will keep you in my Jews stash. They gotta fix linking items from the tribute thing. It's kind of annoying not being able to. Yeah. I'm sure it's somewhere on their list. Hmm. Oh, a fox shade. All right, time to give back to the community and put these wands back in the stat, the guild stash. That's where I found them, and that's where they'll reside since they are so damn good. Thank you, whoever let me borrow them. Ash oh. didn't even look what this league's uh, ritual weapon effect, ritual character effect. Oh, you look at the oh, challenges? Right. Yeah, yeah, I remember now what the challenge rewards were. The 36 is a hideout. What? Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh. Ritualist hideout. Um. I have a cloak of flame. In my tribute. Mm hmm. Do you and want that? No. It's good. Like, it makes it so you, like, take a percentage of fizz as fire damage, if I remember correctly. Um, oh, 20% of physical damage taken as fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got 31% per increased ignite duration and 20% chance to ignite. But you don't need the chance to ignite, and... Correct. I don't know about the duration, either. God, what the heck? You, you, you were a robo for a moment there. Yeah. Now, my game, like, completely froze there for a moment as well.
Oh, I'm an idiot. What reminds Sometimes me? I, like, mess up the uh, spikes. Like, I go stand on the spot that it's gonna spike instead of, like, the other, <laughs> the other way around. Hmm. Did it again. Very nice. Illusionist. Ah. A pretty. Is that the star? Oh, that's the star. I was just looking at staff, uh, weapon skins that would work on a staff. The Illusionist weapon skin looks really good. <laughs> it's probably also the most expensive here. Aside from the, no, the Spectre staff is. Oh, that's the combination of Corsair and Mystic. I see. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta get myself a uh, Steel Skin set up. Yeah, I guess I really should too. But I don't think I have the uh, sockets, to be perfectly honest.
I'm actually running a spell totem with uh, blight in it. Blight rather than wither? Uh, I guess, yeah, I could run wither instead. But I mean, I just currently have it linked with like the vault light like, that I already have equipped. I just don't have the two gem slots for it, I guess. It's a little bit of so the problem is though is if you hit the <clears throat> vol blight and then the blight, you'll over you're like uh Yeah, but the, the, the well yeah, I've been keeping that in mind. Um the vol blight only goes off once anyway, so like it pulses multiple like it does that full pulse, like the three or four pulses, and then it just doesn't do anything after that. Um, it's all neutral. After I finish Shavron's tower, I'm probably gonna go to sleep. Even though you just ate? Hmm? I said even though you just ate? No, that was, that was like almost an hour ago. Was Oh, I thought I remember you saying something a little while ago about not playing League again. Huh? A couple, maybe it was a couple weeks ago, but you were saying something about like you didn't want to play any more League or something. <laughs> you were like streaming League earlier today. You might have misinterpreted what I meant when I said I, I was done with League. I was done with League for that day. Hmm. Bitter Ritual? I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh no, the Bitter Ritual, never mind, it's just a laser. I didn't know that was what it was called. Mm -hmm. Actually, it barely does any damage. Once you have actually, once you actually have some cold res, it doesn't do damage. I might also be dodging part of, or uh, evading part of the spell damage, or some of the spell damage. Hey, it's a uh, that kind of thing you probably can't dodge because it's just an area effect kind of thing. Mm. Probably similar to my uh, scorching ray. Look at, take a look at this. 
I found uh, damage over time abilities or things like that, or like uh, searing bond. You can't like dodge it or evade it. It's just it's like a ground effect. Why would you? Do you see the thing I linked you? Or not linked you, uh, sent you on Discord? Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Sard and I were looking at that type. Why? Uh, it seems like trash, to be honest. Yeah, like that seems. Why? I don't know. It seems like the opposite of what you want. It's a little bit of a silly uh, mod, yeah. It's like you get some flat damage to do a percent reduced amount of damage. What? Why? <laughs> unless... Unless... Wait, if if you ignore resistance, if you have something that ignores resistance, would that would that set it to zero and then set it to ten percent after that, or would it just would it just like ignore it altogether, like it says? You probably still ignore it because so maybe that's the use case for it. I guess, but then that would mean that that uh, type can only be used by an inquisitor. Yeah. Um, or if you can somehow make it such that your cold damage, uh, is, uh, does as a different ailment type or sorry, damage type. I don't know. I guess if you have like cold to fire, maybe. It's still like questionable use like cases. Like, it's not yeah, worth it. I, I don't see how that's worth it. It's r realistically not, I think. I think maybe the best... Mm, I feel like, yeah, I think in every case there's just a better type of helmet you could use. Yeah, if anything, there's... Not even this just... It's not that useful. It's like... You could use something better. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sure you could find some uses for it. Like... It's like how you can find some, probably find some use for every item. Yeah, like there's some, there's evidently some way you could use it. Now, is there something better? Likely, most definitely. Wait, what the heck? I picked up two vault righteous fires. Hmm. To the fire and flames. <coughs> Do you need any waypoints before you get off? Um, I mean, I just completed Chevron's Tower. What weapons could I get? Um, the Riverways. Um, the Southern yeah, sure. Forest. That'd be really okay. nice, actually. I'm just gonna a lot of clear my inventory. Actually, you could get. Yeah, that that'd be nice. Like. So if you just played Shepherd's Tower, that means that you should have the Prisoner's Gate. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because yeah, so, it, that, it automatically gives well, you that. Actually, you don't need this one. This is useless. Uh, here you go. Riverways. And I crash to desktop. Yeah, you, you it. Uh, you. Uh, it just straight up crashed me to desktop. Wow. So. Oh, well, you so much for the not having CTD. Right. Spoke too soon. I guess. I mean, I managed I to get the waypoint dumb. before you CTD, but still. Ah, well. I mean, that's a plus. So you got the riverways. Um, here's the southern yeah. forest.
You gonna click the uh, teleport button? Uh, it didn't work the first time I clicked it. <laughs> okay. And here's the beacon. beacon. The bacon. Yeah. You'll have to do the other ones yourself. But that should save you some time. Yep. Uh, I should probably actually get off. I have to get up for work tomorrow. I just got the sun orb, so probably actually a good spot I can get off and then tomorrow I can after work I can get to maps pretty easily. Nice. I I probably will be able to get to maps tomorrow so, uh if I actually play. See what happens. Mm-hmm. 